Hi, I'm Ed Hyland. This is CBA Live TV, and I've got the honor of being joined today by James Carville. Mr. Carville, thank you so much for taking the time. What, what message do you have for the Banking Association today? Well, we're just, you know, basically uh, going to try to have a good time. That's first, first thing on the agenda is uh, this is a target-rich environment when it comes to jokes. Uh, my message is going to be, look, uh, you know, we have a, a presidential election year where we had an incumbent that should be the target of a lot of really talented challenges, and that's not the case. Um, and it's, it makes for a pretty interesting year. The reasons behind it, I don't know. We can sort of speculate on. Uh, we'll probably do some sort of prognostication and have some fun, and that's about what we're trying to do here this morning. They've been talking a lot about trust and transparency and uh, uh, the needs of uh, the, the banking industry here. Um, uh, obviously, politics has some similar issues going on right now. We were laughing as a slogan for the bank should be, well, it, it could be worse. We're not politicians. Uh, yeah, the, you know, the industry has taken a, a, a little bit of a hit here. Uh, as of a lot of other industries and institutions have taken a little bit of hit. This country has gone through and is continuing to go through some of the more wretched times we've had since the Great Depression. Uh, smart institutions and smart organizations will spend less time bemoaning the fact that they're held in less esteem than they used to be and more time uh, understanding why and what can they do to, to change that. Mr. Crabble, thank you for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. And thank you for joining us right here on CBA Live TV.